Welcome to episode number 5 in the dead man mode. Let's see what the first superior is going to give us. Yeah, nothing special. Look at this guy. Dragon Claws Ancestral. Surreal Staff. What? That's a guy you don't want to be close to. I've actually skipped like 15 tasks now, so I'm just going to go and kill gargoyles for a pretty long time and get a lot of money and send it to my mule and then I can actually use that money to do some uh, maybe barrows or something. Oh my god, that was so fast! Granite Mall. I'm actually not sure how much that's worth, but I'm going to assume quite a lot. Uh, back to back. I'm tallying out. I really don't want to risk this. That is insane. They're actually only 51k, but uh, 51k I'm not really saying no to getting back to back. Yeah, 167k in like 10 minutes. Second trip done, look at all this loot, so good money. 331k, Jesus. That is now over 1 million GP on my mule to buy things with, so good. I, I will be able to do barrels even if I die multiple times with this money. Oh yeah, these are actually above level 100, so I can get tier 5 emblems. That is pretty much 300k drop right there. 240k plus 300k from the archaic emblem on the second trip. So in two days, meaning the May 8th, the Barrows drops will be doubled, so a lot of people will be doing Barrows, and during that time there is a big risk of being PK'd, and also a lot of Barrows items will come into the game, so they will probably just crash in value a lot. So my plan is to do Barrows before that hopefully get some money from doing that and get some pieces and then buy back barrows pieces when they are lower valued okay first chest back here oh varax helm no way dude on the first kill i'm actually not sure how much that's worth but i'm going to assume quite a lot because that's a very good item for pking okay let's see how much this is now uh it should be around 400 to 500k for this which is really good 408k yeah that's super good no PKers here with a decent loot potential. What can we get? Oh, I, another item, Guthans Chain Skirt. I'm actually not that excited about that. Oh, actually, though, it is a Barrow's item, so you can't be uh, disappointed. But I think Guthans items are actually not that good for PKing at all, so it is probably not going to be worth a lot. Yeah, not nearly as much as the Verax Helm, but still a decent amount of money. You can't say no to that. Chest number 30 with 94% loot potential. Nothing. After the gargoyle and barrels grind, I can now buy a whip and still have 2 million left. Which is such a great sight. That will be so good for my 99 attack and defense grind. Because I'm so close to 99 strength, I thought I would get one. Because of the finals being the top 2000 players in total level, I'm actually going to do some skilling. I'm going to pick up the clue hunter leggings here after this clip. And I will also get the top and I have some warm clothing, so I will actually do a winter toad because uh, fire making is very free levels over there. You can also get wood cutting levels, construction levels and fletching levels. So it's basically four skills in one thing and also of course you have the chance of getting the uh, tome of fire which is worth a lot of money right now. And having 916 total is not that good. I think actually the top 2000 player now has like 900 total and uh, there's only 2000 people that go into the finals. So I actually want to just uh, gain a lot of total levels right now to secure my spot so I don't really have to think about it later. And uh, I'm going to get the top as well, here we go, and I think that should be enough to do Winter Toad now. So I might as well show my total level right now, it's 923 and my fire making is uh, 55 now, and 46 wood cutting, 5 fletching. That's the first Winter Toad completed, and I think that was 7000 points for that one crate. So let's open it. I think if I have it in my bank though, it should actually be safe if I die because it's untradeable. I'm 71 fire making by the way from that one winter toad all the way from 50. So that is very nice. Also 30 fletching. If I put this in here, let's see if I actually lose it when I die. Okay, I don't. That's perfect. So uh, let's still open it though. I really want to see what the first one is going to be. After that, I will probably put them in the bank. First one. Unfortunately, no pieces. Oh my god, I completely forgot to actually buy a house. I still have one construction, but uh, I'm actually going to open the boxes until I get all the warm pieces. So let's see the second one. I think roughly 6,000 points. Ooh, that's a lot of burnt pages and also the Bruma Torch, which is an upgrade. But let's get a house first so I get some construction from this as well. 
52 of them is 73k. That's actually not bad money. I'm actually not going to let it go down to 0% just yet. I actually want to stack up as many points in one game as I can. But look at this. 24 construction on one round. I'm at 6.3k points so far. So yeah, the experience is great. Look at my total. 1021 already. A 9.7k crate. Let's see if we can actually get another piece of uh, warm clothing. Oh, I need 20 spaces. That's hilarious. Okay, here we go. Now I have inventory space. Nothing, really. Okay. Uh, well, let's go for another one. Pretty much every single solo Windsor Toad game is like 40 minutes long and this is 8,000 points and I've done 4 of them and I'm now 44 construction, 53 fletching, 86 fire making and that will be the last one for this video but I will still do some skilling because look at this, I have so many level 1 skills but let's open the last uh, one and see if we can get some warm clothing. Oh, that is exactly what I wanted. Let's go and check how much that's actually worth. It didn't sell for 950k, but it did sell for 700k. So let's see how much this is actually going to be. 857k for the Tomo Fire. That is so much money. That's pretty much getting a whip. After that clip you just saw of me selling the Tomo Fire, I have actually done a lot of skilling. I got 49 fishing, 55 uh, cooking. I got 38 farming and the 38 farming is primarily because I want to plant toad flax seeds and uh, harvest them for a lot of money. I bought the seeds for 1.5k each and I get multiple of course herbs every single time I farm them and they are like 3.8k each so it's a lot of profit there and uh, I think also I got some herb lore levels so I've gained pretty much uh, since I started the Winter Toad grind, 300 total levels, which is really, really good. So there is actually something I want to talk about, and that is the fact that this is actually going to be like 99% sure my last Deadman mode video. And that might seem pretty weird because you're like, well, you've been grinding for a couple of things and getting like 38 farming as I said in the clip earlier for Toad Flex Seed and all that. But the thing is... Dead man mode for someone who sure isn't good at PKing, like of course uh, I'm not good at PKing, I'm not saying any of my deaths is not because I screwed up, because I'm sure all of them are. But the problem is, if you're a solo player like me who doesn't take any donations and isn't playing in a clan or anything, dead man mode is super boring because Pretty much everyone just gets donated gear or gets uh, clans to feed them gear and then instantly they have whips, they have uh, Vesta longswords when they're like level 70 combat. And then there's, you know, someone who plays solo who has said, well, okay, I'm just dead. You know what, I'm probably just going to die here. I don't really mind. It's The thing is, like, I muled everything over anyway, so it doesn't matter that much. But primarily what I wanted to say in this clip is because is that... Playing solo in deadman mode is really, really boring because you can basically do everything that you should do, never die, and still not even be close to the same stats that of someone that gets donated, like a bunch of gear, right? So it's just kind of boring when it feels like regardless of what I do, I will always be behind. Because if you look at the other YouTubers... They already have like a bunch of gear and all that and all of it was donated and if it wasn't donated they I mean they got one item or something donated like a Vesta longsword or something and uh, from that they can just gain bank pretty much so yeah I don't really feel motivated and uh, I just honestly have been getting really bored of the game because of Deadman and I've only played one week. So I really want to get back to my main and just keep on going with my Zero to Hero series. I, I, like, honestly, I didn't even know what, what was happening with this guy. I don't even know if he's chasing me anymore. Probably not. But anyways, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I will write something in the uh, description as well of, or uh, the comment section of the video and you can read that. But uh, yeah, this is my last Deadman Mode video. And I hope you guys did enjoy this series regardless, and I'll see you in the next one guys, take care of the next one, we'll be on my main, and I will be doing raids. So, hope you will enjoy that.